Uh, how are the Red Sox shaping up now? Well, Ed, it's good to be back in Roanoke. You know, it's been some time since I was here. I enjoyed those two years that I spent in Roanoke when I first started managing. Well, uh, we've had a very good spring training, Ed. The fellas, in, uh, as far as physical condition is concerned, uh, we're in very good shape. Uh, uh, the pitching has looked uh, very good. Uh, that is, Parnell, uh, who had an injured arm last year, has come around, and his arm is very good, although he's having a little trouble with his knee at the present time, which is nothing serious. Young uh, Frank Sullivan has been very good. Tommy Brewer. And uh, Ike DeLock, who will pitch today uh, here, I think he started uh, out in Roanoke. Uh, he's done very well in, in uh, most of his outs this spring. So I have hopes that uh, our pitching will be one of the strong points of our ball club. Well, that's good, Mike. Now, one question I know you get asked everywhere you go. Well, the big question is Ted Williams coming back. What have you heard? Well, I'll have to give you the same answer I give everybody. We haven't heard from him, so I couldn't really say. Who will replace Williams in left field if he doesn't come back? Well, I have a choice between a number of ball players. Uh, Faith Thornberry, who's just out of the service, has looked very good. He's been doing most of the playing in left field. But I also have Olsen, uh, Gene Stevens, and Sam Neely to choose from. Uh, well, now your shortstop, Milt Bowling, got hurt a few weeks ago down in Florida, and he was a former Red Sox player also. Who are you, who are you going to put in there? Well, of course, back? we uh, we uh, signed up Eddie Juice, and uh, even though Eddie has a few years under his belt, uh, uh, he's looked very good down here, and I'm sure he can fill the job until maybe... He's the former manager of the Philadelphia A's. That's right, yes. How about your hitting now? Uh, where are you strong in that department? Well, uh, where are we strong? Well, Norm Zouchin uh, and Harry Aganis are having a little contest for first base. Uh, the last few games, Zouchin has hit very well. And of course, Jensen drove in 118 runs last year, and Sammy White's looked very good with the bat. So uh, those things you can't really anticipate uh, what kind of years they'll have, but uh, uh, I feel that we'll, we'll be able to make some runs because we have good speed and we're going to have good defense, I'm sure of that, Ed. How about at first base now? Uh, who, who will handle the first well, base? Well, as I said, uh, that's between Harry Aganis and Norm Zouch. And uh, lately, uh, uh, Norm Zouch has been hitting the ball very good. He was with me at Louisville last year and drove in 118 runs, I believe. Well, Mike, one final question. How does it feel coming up to the major leagues now? This is your first year as the manager of the, of the major league team. Well, that's true. Well, I'll have to tell you, I'll have to answer that question about July for you because actually these spring training games, uh, they're played for purposes of finding out things and uh, about your ball club and so forth. So about July, I'd be able to answer that question for you. Well, Mike Higgins, thank you very much for being on the program and the best of luck to you and the Boston team this year. Thank you, Ed.